Hi everyone, um, welcome to a bit of a different FIFA video today. Um, we are going to be starting a career mode, not a manager career mode. Um, we will quickly download the latest squads just so everything is up to date. We are actually going to be starting a player career mode um, with a Middlesbrough. And we are going to use one of the best players I have ever played for Middlesbrough in my opinion. Probably the best player. Um, I am going to fill out his name last just to see if people can guess who we are going to be using. Um, we'll go with the middle one. I'll leave all this for now. But number 10. So the nationality is going to be... Again... It is going to be absolutely amazing to see this guy back in a burrow kit. Um, I, unfortunately, I can't get his age. I will just need to make him. We'll make him as young as possible just so we get more play time. Um, I will put his actual birth date in. I'm just going to change this up. So he was actually born in February the 22nd. So we will go for this now. He is going to be 5 foot 6. Put him. Put the 154. Head. I'm going to try and make him look as much like him as possible here. It's just going to be a little bit difficult. Never really liked the options of changing players on career mode. It's a little bit more tanned. That, that tone and complexion is completely wrong. We'll put them like that. Eyes are fine with that, and the brows. We'll go that. Again, it is probably not going to look like him. Um, just for the simple fact, I'm not very good at editing players on this game. We'll do short hair. So I'll try medium, see if there's any better ones on here. Again, the, the, the options of that you've got to play with isn't that great. We will do that. Kit. We will put him untucked. Oh, I'm playing long sleeves there. I'll just do team fit for that one. And try and give him some nice boots, of course. He actually wore some black boots, so we will just keep it black. Good old fashioned. I will give him average socks with no ankle tape there. So, goal celebrations.
Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get his celebration in general on here. Um, I'll just give him a little bit of a knee slider. I'm going to just put hands on hips for that one. Again, hands on hips for that one. And just hands on hips all the time, that. The running style. That is fine. So what we are going to do, the in four, So if you haven't guessed, it is, we are going to actually need to see if we can get his gameplay, that's the one I was looking for. So we're going to do an attacking midfielder, uh, he will uh, be, I believe he was left footed. Yeah, he was actually right footed there. Um, so yeah, we are going to be doing an attacking midfielder. Like I said, he is going to be Brazilian. Born on the 22nd of February. What we will do is we will rotate this around. And we, we are going to be bringing back Janinho to the Riverside Stadium. Again, probably the best player to ever grace the Riverside in my opinion. Yeah, we will be bringing back Janino. If only we still had Janino in this day. Um, it would be so much of a better time. Janino Pallister. It was just a little magician on the football pitch. Known as Janino, of course. Commentary name. I wonder if we can actually get Janino. Um, we will search for Janino. Again, we may not be able to find it with regards to EA giving us so many little options. Um, yeah, Janino is not actually on there as a name, which is not good. We'll just leave the commentary name blank. Um, but we are going to be, like I said, using Janino at the Riverside Stadium once more. But every time he was on the pitch, he gave 110%. Again, he doesn't look like Janino. It is... I am I am sorry about that. Um, but like I said, we will be starting a Middlesbrough player career. We will be on World Class. Six minutes... Six minutes half. Sterling enabled... That is fine, so we will advance into the career mode. And we'll see if we can bring the glory days back to Millsborough. So we'll just create a new career there. Let me just sort this out. Uh, so we will see if we can bring the glory days here. So uh, they have... Uh, Welcome does to Millsville there. We are excited to shine for the club and country. It is mainly going to be the club for now. As I said, it's just going to be absolutely amazing to see the man himself, Juninho, back on the Riverside Stadium pitch. So we will quickly double check what our league expectations are for the season. So the league expectations are going to be a key for an average league match rating of 6 or better. Create 5 goals whether you're setting them up or popping them in yourself. Maintain a pass completion of 65% or better. I want you to create over 30 scoring chances. I mean with a middle strike strikers records at the minute. I think setting goals up is going to be a little bit of an issue. Um, so we may just need to take that into our own, own hands and pop in, in ourselves. Um, 
but we will jump straight into the training. It is going to be important to do, to do training. Um, again, we will simulate the training. Uh, training isn't really... So we will just add three training and we will just simulate those just to get a grid, just to get things on the move there. And we will quit that there. So what we are going to do, like I said, Janino will be back at the Riverside Stadium. Let's hope our first friendly game in this tournament is at home. Um, it is going to be our home there in the European International Cup versus Boa Fista. Um, let's jump into that game. We will only be controlling Janino. As I said, that is the whole point of the series. See if we can use a bit of Brazilian magic to, to boost Borough back into the Premier League. And you never know, we might be able to have another run in one of the Cups. We will be changing our camera angle to the Pro camera. I'm not sure why that wasn't already on there. So we'll be doing a pro camera there. So yeah, we will hopefully have a good season. I'm not sure why that still hasn't changed. So like I said, we will be using the pro camera. Let's give us a bit of an understanding. Sure of where we are going to be going, so we will kick off here. Like I said, see if Juninho can bring the glory back to the borough. Nice little ball in there. Juninho so plays it through to Akbom. He's going down the line, I'm not sure where he's going. Plays a three. Almost goes a bath there. Oh, Janino almost gets through on goal there. Last ditch tackle stops him. They are going to break here. Nice little ball through to that striker. This could cause us a little bit of an issue. Good tackle there. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Sees him go down the line. Akbom. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. That's a good ball in there. Can he finish off? So close to an open goal. Good ball three. Good by Betanelli there. Goalkeeper's ball. As it is going to be a little bit more difficult with only controlling Juninho. I've He's just refereed that as an awful challenge. He's left me on the floor there. Paulinho. Using all his defensive acumen. Nice strength shown by our defender. He's lost it. Good save there. Juninho has came back to his feet. That is a poor header by myself. At the moment, we are getting dominated by Boa Vista here. As a again, unfortunately, it is going to be a little bit difficult until we can get our play up and running to speed. So we will need to be playing a few of the training sessions. Almost got that through there to Akbom. Janino is now going to need to make his way back. Over the touchline for a throw in. I think we've got a knock here. Anthony Dykesdale. That's all. That's all. Pass Jimmy here. Anderson. Roberts. Referee. That is atrocious. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Bringing Janino down there. Has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think you could think anything else after that challenge. Well, the clearance half-hearted. They've got it now. What can they do? Janino recycles possession there. Gets it back. Ah, oh, just a little bit too slow there. Again, that is where the training is going to be coming in handy. 
Oh, progression throughout the series. We'll see Janino be amazing again. He's in here. Excellent. Good tackle there. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win. Come and break. Plays me back in there. Back bomb. Sam Morsi. Morsi's on the ball. Johnson in possession. Oh, that's a poor ball by myself. I should have probably done a little bit better. Might be onto something with Plays that out wide. Our defender is holding him up well. Needed some help there. Well, that's, that's a good tackle. Can Akbom win the sun? He has. Plays it back. Don't have the pace just as of yet to get past that defender. Johnson in possession. Trying to make runs out wide there just to create a bit of space. Here's Patrick Roberts. Ah, oh, Janino with a slow tackle. turn there. As our player isn't that great at the minute. And the keeper can gather. It just feels so good to see the name Janino on the back of a bro shirt again. Put him through there. Oh, that's so unlucky. A terrific pass. He might be able to make it through. And the shot decidedly. That's a chance to land there that he's just put wide. He had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. Plays up there. Can he win that header? Yes, he can. Janino brings it down on his chest. What control that is. Plays it out wider to Patrick Roberts. Janino sees the run of Akbom. Plays him through. And he keeps going. Well, I'm not sure what that pass back was there. The alarm bells were sounding. That was a bit unfortunate there. Would have had that. Oh, that's, that's a poor ball. ball. If that was a bit better, Janino was through on goal. It's been a tif difficult first half of football here. Paulinho. Sebastian Perez. It's opening up for them. Yeah, through on. Oh, what a tackle that is. He's down the line. Play him down the line. It's a good looking ball. It's a good ball, Banjinino. Akpom could be through on goal here. Oh, the keeper makes a save. Janino is going to see himself on the edge of the box here just in case any deflections get put down there. Janino with the finish. Oh, that's unlucky. So 0-0 at half time there. Not much to report in the first half. It has just been a little bit of... Passing around uh, the way the manager feedback. Some impressive three balls. That one to Akpom in particular. Probably should have done a bit better with the finish, but it was a good save at the end of the day. But we will jump into the second half. And we have actually been subbed. Um, so what we will do is simulate the rest of the match there and see if we can come out with the victory. It has been a draw, 0-0 no, no, uh, um, Again, a little bit surprised to get subbed off there. But I suppose I was injured in the first half. It's just an unfortunate situation there. Let's hope that injury doesn't keep us out. Oh, it's, we're only out for five days. That is not too bad at all. So we probably won't be playing the next game versus Willem 2. Are we going to be playing that game? No, it's, we need to sim that game there. So we actually end up losing that game 2-1. Again, this just shows it is going to be a difficult difficult thing to do to get Borough back into the Premier League. But I believe we can do it. 
Newcastle United have completed the signing of Mikel Antonio. That's a surprising one. So we are actually back into the team for this game. The first is Rosenborg. I believe we do need to win this game if we want to advance in the International Cup. Okay, it's not our main priority. Our main priority is going to be getting back into the Premier League. And obviously if we can't have any cup runs, it is going to help a lot too with regards to the finances for the club as we are open to go into management after finishing our player career unlucky through ball by Akpom there that is close and it is going to be a bit frustrating at times it's on a much bigger scale it was back when I used to play in pre-season games, that's for sure. But with Janino, we can, we can accomplish anything. An effective challenge. Oh, that's a clearance by Marcy. Uh, just about keeping our shape here. Not getting dragged out. Well played pass. It's a good ball over the top by them, though. That's a good defensive header there. It's a good little pass to Akpom. Can Akpom return the favour? Well, potential danger. Gininho, that is a pure effort. Like I said, we are going to need to get our player better um, before we can be scoring efforts like that. Shellbread Conradson. Oh, we will be doing training. <coughs> and it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Orson Ayolson. Want to get those trademark runs on the go. It looks promising. That's good defence there. Them, but not to be. We are in space. Each chose to play our wide. Seeing the run down the wing there. What a ball that is through by Janino. He is on the edge. That's good poor there. We were through. is how to play advantage still on level terms moving the ball nicely good defense there and again Superb good block judgment to end the attack I've made that run down the line take it away Conradson I'm hoping that we can add that spark in the attacking midfield area. At the moment, like I said, with regards to creating loads of chances, that is a poor ball by George Savile. But defending that. We're showing ourselves for the ball. No options, so we will recycle possession and go backwards there. That's a good ball through to Akbam, though. If you can use us there. Oh, that is unlucky there. I thought the defender was going to dive in. Anders Conradson. Lovely ball over the top. Really do need to work on the training to get Juninho back up to speed. Orson. What can he do from here? Good tackle there. How to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Back bomb. Ah, oh, I have straight offside. Took a little bit longer to pass the ball than I would have thought. Let's get to play him down the wing there. Can they get a shot behind him. Here? If he wants to use us again. They're playing through, is he offside? And He's offside there. The and the flag raised. Offside but we are keeping our rating to 7.2 at the minute. We are really expected to play an average of 6 for the season. Orson. Anders Conradson. Good tackle there by Janino. Ah, oh, Patrick Roberts runs into a bit of trouble. 
I'm not going to ask him to close that down. Oh, he could be in there, but I believe our defender should have that. I don't know what that overhead kick was. Good tackle there by Dale Fry. Going to show off for that down the wing. Juninho has played through here. Running room now on the wing. Opportunity oh, that is that is poor by the myself there. Well, Derek, there's nothing between these two teams in terms of possession. Can someone take control of this game? The crowd is trying to cheer us on. Hopefully, we'll see a goal It's been soon. a very even game at the minute. Fifty-fifty possession. We did have that one chance, but unfortunately, I did put it wide. Well, no luck keeping possession. I went the wrong side there. That's just unlucky. Good tackle there. We are showing for the ball. We are going to play to Akbom. If Akbom looks over the wing, he's someone that's a poor ball there, but thankfully our wing has kept that in. We are going to show for it behind if he wants to use us. We're going to play it into Akbom. Can Akbom finish out? That's a good block by the defender there. Again, we're going to just hang on the edge of the box. Oh, it was cleared off the line that time. Oh, that is a pure effort by Janino. Well, Again, that the is something the training is going to improve. He didn't have any there. Are there to intercept? In just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. In the right place to cut out the pass. That's unlucky there. That's another half of football done there. The Couldn't quite grab a goal. Hopefully we will not get so oh, we actually haven't got sub to half time this time. We will try our best to influence the game all this second half. I've just run by him there, that's <coughs> okay, try and cut off that pass backwards. I'm being told I am our position there, so I am going to get back. That is good save by the goalkeeper there. Good defensive header away. Shellbread. And it was blocked that particular cross. Getting in there to intercept. We have played that three to Akbom. Well, big news breaking prior to the game. Barcelona have finally got their man. We are going to make that run three if he can play us. million pounds. Huge amount of money. Responsibility on a player's shoulders with that sort of price tag is huge, but he's a huge player. Juninho's been played through there. Good tackle by the defender just Andres before I got the shot off. We are a little bit tired now. I think our stamina does need some work. Well, he's given us away. That's a nice little ball there. Bit too much for Akbom, but he's got it back. Can he get it again? That's unlucky. They are going to be making a substitution. We have put pressure on their defender there. Juninho! Janino has got his first goal back in Borough Colors there. And now they've been rewarded. That was a nice little through ball by Akpom. Good finish on his weaker foot there. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing. And then through on goal. Do you go for place? Right into that top corner. And we have influence the game in a major way in the second half there. Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. That is what we like to see. 
And we're inside the final 30 minutes. I'm going to put pressure on them here to play the ball backwards. That's good pressure there. Yeah, you can hear the Burr fans in full the voice there. What a lovely sound that is. It's being played through again. Ah, oh, just a little bit too much there. Tried a little bit too much. And breaking at pace with Menace. That's a good ball over the top by them there. Let's hope we can hold this 1-0 at least. As I said, it would be nice to end the preseason on a victory. And to get the full 90 minutes under our belt would also be a massive boost for our fitness. Good serve by the keeper there. Well, Derek, when the chances are few, Agpom almost won that header there. Good tackle by George Savile. Can Janino follow suit? No, he Shepard. cannot. Well, Good block the there. The Good save by corner. Bettinelli. Well, they might be trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. Agpom is going to be making way there for Ashley Fletcher. Well, let's hope we can get Ashley Fletcher back soon in real life. That's all they can conjure for now. Janino is going to try his best to run here. I think he is so running on empty at the minute. But he is just going to keep running. Play a three to... Marcus I'm going to be making him run back through the middle. He's being played he through. Janino, he scored again. Janino no with the second goal of the game there. Uh, Good little ball through by Tavernier. Nice little right foot finish into the top corner. Janino is well and truly back. Almost got that tackle on that. Good tackle by George Hello. Janino plays it to Ashley Fletcher. He will be making that run back through. Johnny Housen. Wasn't used in that Fletcher. occasion. Can we grab the hat trick here with Janino? There's a ball out oh, wide there. And it's a quality pass. Oh, that's he's a pure effort there. Well, yeah, it's a little out. snapshot there, but he just put that just over the bar. There's going to be a substitution for, for our opponents there. Well, they've decided to make a change. It will play Shaw from the Gorka. That's a weird situ weird thing to do when they're 2 0 down in the 77th minute. But that is a really good ball over the top. Good header back inside. Good block. Good save. Oh, that is unlucky there. That is unlucky there for our, for our team. Let's hope we are a typical Borough side and throw it away. But we did hold on against Forrest. What a weird performance that was. Junior's going to be making the option for him there. He has been used. Plays it out to Tavernier. Janino is going to continue his run. It's going to be used by Johnny Housen there. Ashley Fletcher keeps it. Tries to play through to Tavernier. Just a little bit too much there. I'm going to try and cover this pass off. Just a little bit, a little bit too zapped of energy there. But that is going to be their throw. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Good block by Janino there. That's tremendous intuition to win it back. He's going to play him out wide. Going to be making that run back through if they want to use us. We have been used there. Almost the slipped out through to Ashley Fletcher, but their defender made a good interception. I'm getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. I'm going to try and cut this pass off. Kondradsen. Holmar Örn Eyjolfsson. Can he win that header? Good interception there. Good play that through to Ashley Fletcher. Gonna just play that through. See if Tavernier can get it to the end of it. What a ball that is by Janino. Just 
slightly goes past him there, but overall that is a really good performance. That is a 2-1 victory. Two goals for Dinino there. What a victory ahead of the season. That will give our players a world of confidence there. So player performance there for Juninho, 40% chewing. We will obviously be working on that. 91% passes completed isn't bad. Key dribbles won. So we actually won possession once and lost it twice. Again, the, defending, the defensive side of the game is something we will also work on. We did get our two goals. But what a game that was to play. So we'll just add fans there. So our manager feedback, you must secure short passes. Great vision on those passes, well done creating opportunities for your teammates. Excellent foresight in finding teammates in the open space. And our short passing has been very successful. So yeah, overall a good performance there. We have managed to come away with a victory. What a way to end, like I said, end pre-season. And that sets us up nicely for the championship. Oh no. We're actually, we actually made it through to the semi-finals of the International Cup. But what we will do is we will end the first episode there. Again, in the news, Juninho goal seals Rosenborg defeat. Juninho has scored his first two goals back at the Borough. And we will continue our rebuild of Borough. Juninho is well and truly back at the Riverside Stadium. What a time. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on the series, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I will catch you all next time where we will continue our story with Janino there.